All right, welcome back everyone. I already shared this on the, uh, I just have a quick announcement about the Android app. It has been taken from the store, the, the app that I made a video from earlier on on this channel. So it was an open source app. The, uh, the Git repository, had, the project website has also been taken down. So I'll just quickly go over what happened. Um, I got a notification from uh, Google in an email that they uh, received a DCMA request and that they, um, based on that, they removed the app from the Google uh, Play Store. So as a developer, I have uh, three accounts. I have the Google Play Store account, which makes me, that's a cost of 25 euros once. And then I'm able to upload the APK files that I built to the App Store so that Android users can download the app and install it on their device. And then I have an uh, Apple um, developer account. That's an account that costs me uh, 99 euros a year. Then I can do the same, but for iOS users, so uh, iPhones and iPads. And then uh, I have a third account with Atlassian, a Bitbucket account that enables me to publish the code online so that others can, because uh, it's an open source app, and that way others can uh, read the code, but also uh, commit their own changes. And then uh, those changes can be merged within the code branch and uh, released within the app builds. They were able to kill two of those three options. They killed the uh, Android app and the Bitbucket repository. The Apple app at this moment is still available. And uh, they don't really have uh, an explanation of what the infringement really is in detail. There's no detail on, on what the issue is, what they think is copied. Uh, every icon I created myself, um, every asset, every text, everything is created by myself. Uh, nothing was copied at all. There were some suggestions that maybe it's because I'm using the Zero uh, as a brand name. My app is called Zero uh, NG. What probably pissed them off is that I recently shared the video where I showed the overview of what it can do. And I also made a blog post how I reverse engineered their app and found out about the Sport Plus mode, for example. I guess that I didn't like that uh, publishing. So but the thing that really bothers me is that they they try to take down apps like this that are for the community um, improving product experiences for their users, not killing it or or um, taking any profits from them because I don't get any profits from the app. But anyway, somehow they find it necessary to. Uh, I hope they paid a lot for the lawyer to take uh, to take it down or to create the requests. But if you look into anything, any marketing book, you'll, you'll, uh, you'll learn about as a product creator or owner, you have several clients, you have clients that uh, or just people that are not uh, yet thinking of your business that you still have to, that still have to discover your product. You have people that already discovered your product, but still need more information. But you also have a group that already got the motorcycle, well, the product, uh, and any, any marketing uh, will explain that that last group, the group that already got your product, that's the group that you have to really treat well. You have to help them with support. You have to do anything you can um, to, to help that group because that group is the group that will talk to other people like, I really like, I really like this product, you should really try it. Um, yeah, sure, it's the best there is. Uh, and so on. those are the people that will convince others about how great their experience was, if their experience was great at all. So um, it was open source. I, I hope I can make it open source again and that the source will stay online. If I need to, I'll change some, uh, some things. Thanks for listening.